Keep away from me. It's okay. It's not okay. Do you see that the way that you're dressed? You're dressed like you're about to pull me into a van. Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Nick. If this is your first time here on my channel, how's it going? If this is not your first time, welcome back. <laughs> Anyways, hi everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I hope you are staying healthy. I hope you are staying hydrated because hydration is important. So we are in the week of love. Now, no, we are not watching a romantic comedy. No, we are not watching a horror comedy. For today's video, we are watching 2012's Silent Hill Revelation. You're probably asking yourself why I chose this movie for the week of love. When I reacted to the first movie a couple of weeks ago, the number of comments that I received, it, Nick, don't watch that movie. Don't watch the sequel. The second one is horrible. It's horrible. It's bad. You're gonna hate it. Absolute trash. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all, I thought we had a connection. I thought you and I understood each other. I like a lot of the movies that seemingly other people don't seem to like. With every single comment that I got that was telling me how horrible the second movie was, I was just sitting there like, oh my god. I can't wait to watch it. So we're watching it, we're watching it because I love bad movies and y'all claim this movie is bad. So the week of love. Now there is another disclaimer <laughs> that I have to tell you guys about. I have never seen this movie prior to today. And I sat down about 45 minutes ago and started recording a reaction to this movie. And I got about 15 minutes into the movie before I looked over and realized that my mic was not plugged in. So I had to stop. I, you know, went outside and, and screamed at the moon for a little bit, but we're back now. The mic is plugged in. I have selected start recording. And the reason that I had to make sure that I selected that is because this is now my fourth time that I have recorded this intro. But everything is set. Everything looks, we're good to go, we're good to go. Like I said, the first 15 minutes of it, I have now seen. So I know that we have a lot of returning cast members. Although I'm not quite sure if the little girl that plays Alessa from the first one, I don't think that that's the same little girl. I think it's like a lookalike, but I could be wrong. I didn't want to look up anything and spoil myself, so. And I was enjoying myself, at least for the first 15 minutes, so I would like to get back into this. Before we do that though, I have to ask if you'd be so kind to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. This way you're notified whenever I upload a new video. If you think I'm super cool and stuff and you're interested in what I'm doing outside of YouTube, you can catch up with me on both Instagram and Twitter slash X. And I don't know, if your cortisone cream isn't solving your Nick itch and you want to see more content from me, you can check out my Patreon. You'll get access to hundreds of reactions for both movies and TV shows, audio commentaries, polls. It's pretty cool. You should go and check it out. We, fingers crossed, no more technical issues. I'm ready to get back into this. Without further ado, let's get into Silent Hill Revelation. really like this score. And I believe this is the same score from the first one. I could be wrong, but I'm fairly certain that somebody said that they actually used the score from the games, which I think is really cool. Yeah, this freak show thing, I don't know about all that. Aside from the killer clowns from outer space, I don't deal with clowns. See, I don't want to look at that because the first time it scared the hell out of me. Nope, don't like that. Now I will say one of the things that I do think is really, really cool about all of this is that everything seems to be wrapped in plastic. Like they're like bodies. That's a nice little touch. Now this one, pyramid guy. I'm glad that we're getting to see more of him because honestly, I feel like he was used so uh, little in the first movie. But like when I think of Silent Hill, I think of that image. So I'm glad that he's back, you know? Do not go to Silent Hill. But you know that she's going to go. You know that she's going to go. Also, I was very confused. Like with this, when he, like the, the whole daughter thing, I was like, since when did he have an older teenage daughter? But now I know that that's actually supposed to be Sharon, just with dyed hair. Once we've unpacked, given this place a lick of pain, we'll be at home, yeah. Also, yes, I am aware that he also plays Ned Stark. I am a Game of Thrones fan as well, but I'm also a horror movie fan. Number one, that's why in the last reaction, I was like, oh, that's what's his face from The Hitcher. <laughs> like that's just where my mind goes. Why Heather? It's my grandmother's name. You can change it if you don't like it. No. Okay, so we've like established that they're on the run from someone. I'm assuming just law enforcement, probably because the wife is missing and the cop that was in the town never returned. Ooh, I love that cop. She was, mm. 
Is this thing supposed to be something that the character wore in the game? I don't know, it's very specific, I guess. I feel like it's maybe something she wore in the game. I gotta go. Don't wanna be late for the first day of school. College, maybe. Late stage college. She ain't 17, don't lie to me. Yeah, what the hell is this thing, though? Like, it has runes on it. What, what is that? What devil box is that? Hey, Rose, I wish you were still here since you brought See, you. that doesn't even look like the little girl. Like, it looks like her, but it doesn't. So I feel like they, uh, because it's years later, they've recasted her just with somebody that looks really similar. I'm trapped here. There's nothing you can do for me. Protect her. She's the one that matters now. Like this, I, I, I'm assuming they'll, well, hopefully they'll explain this, but they came back together at the end and both were trapped in the other realm or whatever. So I'm very confused as to why she's trapped there, but now Sharon is outside of it. Never let them take her. No matter what happens, no matter what you have to do, swear to me. Do you remember when he was on the phone with you in the first one telling you not to go to Silent Hill? And now you're like, yeah, protect her, risk your life. Sharon? Oh my God, Sharon. Right, like that, I can't tell if that's her. What is that? Also, where did they move that there's like burnt out cars sitting on the side of the road? Are they in Detroit? Oh, <laughs> it looks like an ass for a face. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. This one, I can't remember the name of the actor, and he's been in a lot of things, but he was in a movie called The Quiet that I love. Amazing actor. That movie, though? Just going blind. Going blind, y'all. Have we met? No, I don't, I don't think so. No? I'm sure we have. Is he supposed to be a cop or something? Random ass man in a trench coat coming off the street asking me what my name is? Get the hell away from me, you Chester the Molester. Heather Mason. Could you say hello to the class, Heather? Hi, I'm I'm Heather. Hi, Heather. Come on, Heather, share a little bit of yourself. Everyone has a story. Tell us yours. I hate this. I hate when people do this. I hated that in school. I hate that whenever you go to a new job, they're like, oh, let's go around the room and do icebreakers. No, let's not and say that we did. How about that? This is the fifth school I've been to since I was 11. Me and my dad would move around. So don't bother trying to remember my name because I'm sure as hell not gonna remember yours. Don't talk to me. We won't be friends. And whatever you're thinking of saying or doing, don't bother because I've seen it before and I'm, I'm just guessing here, but I don't think there are too many original thinkers in this room. I mean, damn, she dragged them. She dragged them good. <laughs> but it is kind of sad, like from her perspective, constantly having to move around and never able to make any connections with anybody. Vincent Cooper. Are you kidding me? I can't follow that. Jon Snow. Jon Snow. A very young Jon Snow. So I feel like this is like a refresher course for maybe if you didn't see the first one, like giving you a, this is what happened to the little girl before the town went crazy. Oh no. Ugh, it's so dirty looking. I wonder how often she's like having these weird flashes. That thing, that's that nasty thing that the fine ass police officer was shooting at in the first movie. Ugh, that nasty, and it was like dripping out of like that. What are you doing out of class? You know what, I'm lost. I can't find math. Any ideas? That seems suspicious to me. Hey look, you wanna get a coffee? No. Why not? We're both new. We don't know anyone else. It's wild seeing this, cause I'm like thinking back to when I was in high school, massive loser, sat by myself every day during lunch. But whenever there would be a new student, I would always welcome them to sit with me because I didn't want anybody else to feel like how I felt, you know? And then the second that they would get, uh, you know, friends and establish themselves in the school, I was back to sitting alone. But I turned out okay, so it's fine. No, I think he's in on it. I think that they know each other. Hey, honey. Also, FYI, this is exactly the point that I got to. So everything from here forward <laughs> is brand new. I'll be there as soon as I can. Do you think someone knows? No. No one knows, but there's literally somebody breaking into your apartment. Someone knows. Oh no, I could deal with, you know, uh, killer clowns from outer space, but in, I don't like clowns. I don't do that. Happy birthday, Alessa. Ella. Why is she gotta be doing this nasty shit? Like, you're dead, just stay dead. Sharon! 
<laughs> you can back up a little bit. Please, sir. <sighs> what the fuck was that? What was that? Oh my god. <laughs> What in the autoerotic asphyxiation is that? Keep away from me! Keep away from me! Keep away from me! It's okay. It's not okay. Do you see that the way that you're dressed? You're dressed like you're about to pull me into a van. My name is Douglas Cardlin. I'm a private investigator. What do you want from me? I'm paid to find people. Someone wanted you found. That's not my name! You're Sharon DeSille, or at least you think you are. I tracked you down after you left Portland. You and Harry got away from the police, but I found you. What my dad did there, that was, that was self-defense. I don't care who Harry killed. Who did he kill? Who got killed? They call themselves the Order of Val Teal, and they want you. So you were hired by a cult? They know where you are. I told them where you are. Well, f***ing thanks for nothing. You don't remember anything from your childhood? I, I was in a car crash. My mother died. I, I lost my memory. No! Oh, she doesn't know anything about it. Okay, so that's interesting. She doesn't know anything about Silent Hill. <laughs> Okay, so what is she dreaming? I can't tell if she's dreaming, if she's asleep. What's, what's, I don't. Please tell me. What is that thing? Oh no, that looks like something out of Hellraiser. Oh. Well, he's dead. Hey, miss, you can't be back here. Come on, back behind the table. What happened? Is she still at the mall? Is that supposed to be the, the detective guy? Douglas Cartland, some oh, PI from out of town. So he did just die. So she wasn't dreaming? What's the matter? Do you see that? The fact that like, she's like talking about things going on in her head and she's hallucinating and seeing things and he's gonna, like this is gonna make him love her even more. <laughs> I'm going crazy. <laughs> What the f So, where's home? Ugh. What happened to the small talk? No, what's your favorite band? Do you Facebook? Nothing like that. Facebook. Ah, she's got the right idea. You should talk to my grandfather. It's all he ever thinks about. It drove him crazy. It's driving me crazy. Talk to his grandfather? What? <laughs> my sweet little hometown. Old man Leonard drools in a padded cell. He'll tell you there are no such things as dreams, just endless realities all piled on top of each other. Some people see monsters, other people just see people. And they locked him up for that? My mother had him committed. You are revealing a lot of information about yourself to a total stranger, this is weird. <gasps> Isn't that the bunny that she saw in her dream? At least I'm real. or I think I am. And you, not pretty real, or just pretty. There it is. So he wants to f on her. You're kind of funny, Heather. You're pretty f***ed up, but I don't know. I You're like attracted to it, aren't you? Why is he harassing her like this? This is so strange. Imagine doing like the bare minimum and getting uh, somebody like Kit Harrington to like obsess over you. Oh no. Did they abduct the dad? Dad! Like, look at this apartment that they're living in. Ugh. Like, this is almost as bad as Silent Hill. The wallpaper is like peeling off of the walls. Y'all remember that nice ass house that they were living in at the end of the first one? From that to this? Oh no, how oh, the mighty have fallen. Heatherich Vincent, I heard you yell. Is everything all right? You heard her yell when you were hundreds of feet away? No, f creeper. Creeper! Is that blood? Will he call the police? I can't. You walk into a stranger's house and you see that and you don't turn tail and get the f out of there. I would have been like, you know what? I hope everything works out for you. I hope you dye your roots back to the proper color, but I can't deal with this. I can't do this. I can't do this. Do you know what that is? Maybe this box and all of the stuff inside the box was given to them when they adopted her. A gun? Why do you need a gun? Why do I need a gun? Did you not see the message written in blood on my wall? Help me. What do you want me to do? Can you drive? What? I don't get it. Like, y'all, they haven't even slept together yet. Like, what? how is he this whipped? I don't get it. <laughs> that look like a gang tag to you? I don't think so. Is it weird that I know that that lamp that's pushed over in the corner of the room is like a $9.99 lamp that they sell at Target? Mm, a little bit. For Sharon. Sharon! 
I know you think we're running from the police because the man I killed in Portland all those years ago. What man? What? He? What? You can't protect him forever! He just stabbed him in the heart. Who is a member of the Order? These people want you, they need you, but they'll do everything in their powers to draw you back. Is the Order, is that supposed to be whatever like weird religious cult that, what's her face that, you know, with the, with the chains up the pooter in the first one? Is, like, is that who that's supposed to be? West Virginia, Mountain Mama. It says Silent Hill was originally a prison colony built on ground taken from the native Indians. <sighs> Sounds about Never right. Build on ancient Indian burial grounds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Watch Poltergeist. Don't do that shit. It says here religious zealots called the Order of Val Tiao secretly ran the town for the last hundred years. They were waiting for a child to be born, to be a vessel for their god who would then be resurrected and- So they didn't say that in the first one. I wonder if this is like also like lore from the game or this is just like a random new thing that they added for the movie. It says the town was cursed by the power of a demon child. But I thought we established that Alessa wasn't actually bad. She just did all of that because they burned her alive and then she was just randomly, like she split into a good part and a bad part and all that jazz. So is this a retcon? We should stop. No, I want to keep going. I'm tired. Get a Red Bull. So y'all are stopping at the Bates Motel? Like what? The order they want you. I think that's why they took Harry, to make you come back. Did she tell him that her dad's name was Harry? Uh, I just don't want anything to happen to you. I don't understand. Y'all literally just met like that day. I don't understand this. I don't understand. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, look at her. Now that's cool looking. Oh, I like it. You didn't sleep? How did you sleep? Y'all literally have all of the lights on. We can't go any further. Why? We already talked about this. I have to. Why can't you just trust me? Because I don't know you, motherfucker. What? What? Because I am a child of the Order. And there it is. <laughs> I knew that there was something weird about him. I was born and raised in Silent Hill. I was chosen to come into this world to make sure you return. It is possible for a few to escape just for a while, but it requires... It requires sacrifice and... And suffering. Oh, no. You are part of that evil. But I... I know that's not true. Because I saw you, and these last 15 minutes that we've known each other, I saw strength and innocence and beauty and courageousness in your eyes, and I knew that you couldn't, you couldn't be. You took my dad. Please believe me, I had nothing to do with that. Why take him? Why not just take me? Well, they probably took him because they knew that he gave great head. Uh, what I just hear? Uh, Game of Thrones choke. If you know, you know. <laughs> Where is he? In the sanctuary beneath the town. Wait, Heather, stop! No! So they made another sanctuary? Because I thought in the first one that church was the sanctuary that eventually, be, you know. What's going on? Yeah, your seedy hotel is starting to look even seedier. You did this. No, it's not me. How can it be? Oh yeah, because technically bad Alessa possessed her at the end, right? Because that was the whole weird thing when she's like looking all creepy at the camera at the end. Oh, did they just kill him? We're not questioning where he went or why we woke up on the floor. Is this like a normal occurrence for you? Uh, is she now in Silent Hill? That's a cool shot. Wasn't the sign on the right in the first one? I mean, I guess there could be like more than one entrance into town, but considering they went the same way that they went in the first one, like over the bridge and everything. Ew, who are they? She kind of looks like a young Michelle Williams. Like if you gave her curly hair, she'd look just like Michelle Williams in Hollywood H12. You should not be here. Not this dirty bitch. They will use you. We will all suffer now. Well, it kind of looks like she washed her hair a little bit, but she still looks like, you know, in a lint trap. Mm -mm. How could you let them burn her? No, I loved her. But you did let them burn her. I never wanted this for her. Where are you taking me? Mommy! 
You never wanted this for her as you back away as they take her away from you. She was the only one who could survive the fire. That's why she was chosen. You all got what you deserve. And I became the mother of the demon. But you are her daughter. Her daughter? I thought she was a part of her. Part of his soul. Placed into a newborn orphan child. What? But that doesn't make any sense because they're identical. Also then, who is the actual baby that she put her soul into? Where is my father? There is nothing you can do to save him without damning yourself. Well, you literally just got done saying that like you shouldn't have come back here and, and now everything is screwed. So if she's damned anyway, she might as well save the dad before she croaks. It's safer to be inside. Run. Does she not have to be inside? Is it because she's Alessa's mother that Alessa's like, yeah, I'll spare your ass. That's awesome looking. That's so cool. Not that the special effects were bad in the first one by any means. The special effects were pretty good. A couple of shots, like you could tell, but like, I feel like this one has vastly improved the effects. Tur turn around, why are you backing into the room? I don't know about all these mannequins. I recently started watching Doctor Who and that first episode with the mannequins, uh-uh. Oh. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Who is that? What? Oh, it's like turning people into mannequins. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. What happened? That's just coming. What's coming? From the look of it, Spider-Man. It's a little tight around the old web shooter. What, y'all? What? What is that? Come on, run! What? Oh no! Oh no! What is that? Uh-uh. 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 Uh-uh! A mannequin spider demon? Is that a creature that's in the games? Cause, ugh. <laughs> Ew! Oh, I don't like things where it's like a, a, a whole, like a circle of teeth. I don't like that. Uh, well, I didn't really know her, so whatever. My own son. Mother, please. Betrayed us. Who is she? She looks like a Targaryen. The darkness is your evil reflected back at us. She is innocent. She is innocent? Yes! You succeeded. Even in your madness, you guided her back to us. What my sister Christabella could not achieve, I shall. So Christabella. Fish. Is Christabella, it's uh, Alexandra Krieg or however you say her name, is that uh, from the first one? Take him to the asylum. No. Cure him. No. This statue thing's kind of cool looking. Brookhaven Asylum. So she's going to visit Kit Harrington's grandfather or whatever that has the other half of that circle thing. Ow! Ow, that hurt. Leonard Wolf. Leonard Nimoy. Hey, Queen. Ew, these things are gross. Oh, not with the sloth teeth. Well, one down, probably millions to go. I don't know if she should do that. Leonard. Malcolm McDowell. <laughs> Why does he look like that? My old daughter. She says that I'm a monster. <laughs> I mean, have you looked in a mirror lately? I am looking for my father. Is he lost? He's in Silent Hill. Oh, there are many Silent Hills. Are you sure it's this one? Vincent said you know how Vincent. to help. There are? More than one? I have half of this. Will it help me? These are uh, I am blind. Right, like he's quite clearly blind, and she's like, where's the other half of this? <laughs> you know what it is. How could I not know the seal of Metatron? Metatron? That sounds like a transformer. What does it unlock? The true nature of things. Listen, I get that you're supposed to be crazy, but can you stop f***ing talking in riddles and just tell her what she needs to know? The other half is in me. What are you doing? Whoa, oh, oh, oh no, why, why? just body parts ripping and blood spewing. What? 
It's a miracle. You can see again. You must be destroyed. Not today. Satan. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's like a monster now. I'm surprised that the monsters are able to hurt her considering she's supposed to be a part of Alessa. Well, in this version, she's her daughter. You'd think that she'd be safe. Uh, they, uh, these movies, y'all, with the, the imagery, uh, it's a lot. It's very cool, but it's a lot. Well, that was easy. You know this is your fault for saying that. Oh, I would not like that. Actually, that reminds me, there was a, a haunted house that I went through one time where you like walk into one room and there's just all of these like hands like that. And I didn't like that then. Ooh, the pyramid guy. Okay, so he's chopping off all of their arms. Didn't they say that that's like Alessa's protector or guard and executioner? So is he protecting Sharon? Also, y'all, the number of sexified images of pyramid head dude online, y'all are sick. <laughs> Are those the, the nurse, the nurse, uh, you know, the dancer people from the first one? That was a cool scene in the first one. Oh yeah, that's them. I wonder if they're gonna start their like Gaga dance again. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 what's happening here? Oh. Oh, was this movie in 3D? Was this released in 3D? Cause that seemed like one of those 3D shots. Well, yes. Yeah, like one of them's literally like doing like the Gaga dance. I'm expecting in the background in any second to hear. Alejandro. Yeah, don't move. Or you like have to move really slowly, I think. I think that's what she did in the first one. Also, now that I'm thinking about that, I wonder, since the mom is here, I wonder if that means that she's gonna be reunited with the mom. Whose hands are those? Oh, <laughs> I was like, who is that? Help me. Tell me where he is. Beneath the amusement park. I can help you. I'd be like, F you, you lied to me. I'm gonna let your ass get killed. I don't care. <laughs> it's the fact that they're all going, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, as they're trying to slice them up. How can you live like this? This darkness, those creatures. The filth, the filth. The exciting amusement park's over there and the uh. entrance to the sanctuary. Does that mean there's gonna be more clowns? If he loved you, he wouldn't want you to be in any danger. And if you love someone, you'd know that you would never give up. But don't you know that he does love you because he interacted with you for 13 seconds and he's in love with you now. Are they soldiers? Not really. We call them the brethren, the most devout servants of the order. You see the masks? They won't breathe the air of the darkness. They, they think it corrupts them. I mean, it probably does. I was telling what's her face in the rose in the first one that she should be wearing an N95 mask. Maybe that's why she got trapped there because she breathed all that shit in. <laughs> Love. Happy Valentine's Day. You should not go on that. You were like lit a flame the last time. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it? Oh. Why did he start like having that happen to him for breathing the air? But that's not happening to anybody else. Umbrella Corporation. Wait, is Alessa on there with her? There she is. Yeah, that's totally a different little girl. We could have allowed her to look like the little girl because this. <laughs> You're the part of me that, that could be free of this pain. I mean, get over it. <laughs> they say you are a demon. They are right. So then I was right in the first movie. She is a demon. Do you think I will just How can you? Ooh, what's that mean? I am. If you reabsorb her, does that mean that she gets your powers and shit too? I don't get it. What just happened? <laughs> Did she defeat her with the power of love? It's the fact that she's wearing like a long sleeve knit shirt and then the vest thing on top of it. You know her ass is hot as it, She is sweating to death. What do you want from me? Your soul. We praise the God that you are here. You have delivered us. And how 
and well did that work out for you the last time are you ready to get ch chains up your coochie again just let her go if i've done so much then let my father go all of this because he adopted her i would have been like do you also have a return policy like let me go back to my life take her ass back the god can only be born through your flesh Ooh, like king paimon in hereditary Ooh. oh wait a minute wait did she, so did she absorb alessa what is this now? What? Oh! Oh! Haven't we already fought that thing though? So she was evil? I am so confused. <laughs> okay, so we have like a full on Mortal Kombat match right now. Did she turn her into a demon? Was she a demon the whole time? Oh, 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 oh. This is crazy. <laughs> like, what is even happening? Oh no, she's cutting off his pyramid head. What's gonna be underneath? Beet juice in the house. This is your brains on drugs. <laughs> oh, well, he won. He won. Do we like him? I think we like him. I don't know. Things are gonna be different around here from now on. Alessa's nightmare is over. I highly doubt it. <laughs> I highly doubt it. Cause where is your mom? What's wrong? I can't leave. I'm gonna stay here. To find the mom? Rose is still trapped here somewhere. I'm gonna find her. Let me help you find her. No. Why not? She walked downstairs into that sanctuary thing at the bottom and literally resolved the entire movie within a matter of 30 seconds. If she absorbed Alessa or defeated Alessa or whatever the case, whatever she just said, then there shouldn't be any reason that y'all can't just leave. Then all of it should have just been like broken and the mom should be like, yo, it's me, what's up, let's go. But quite clearly the fact that it's not means that you did not resolve the situation, so. Vincent. Look after my little girl, you hear? He's a fucking stranger. <laughs> Look. Bye. So, like, do we ever see him again? No. He's gone. He's done for. It's over. It's very odd to me that she traveled all of this way and went through all of this in order to get the dad back. And then she just, like, allowed him to stay. Not let me help you find my mother and we can all leave here. She just let him stay. You're lucky I came by. I haven't been this way in a long time. I don't trust it. I don't trust this man at all. You are now leaving Silent Hill? So he was in Silent Hill? Does that not seem like, you know, I don't know, a warning? Why are they all go, why are all these police officers going in there? They're sending in the army? What? All right, so. That completes Silent Hill Revelation. Did I hate it? No. Do I think that the first one was a better movie? Yes. I feel like perhaps I would be angrier with this one had I played all of the games or if I was a super fan of games or something like that. There was a lot of highs in this movie and then there was just a lot of, I don't necessarily know if I would call it lows, but uh, confusing things, I guess. I thought the cast was good. Everybody gave pretty good performances. No issue with that. Every single part of Kit Harrington's character made zero sense. This entire thing where he like sees her and immediately falls in love with her and wants to protect her and all of this other shit. And then her dad is like, yeah, protect my daughter. What, what? Removing his whole thing out of the equation because genuinely I feel like if you remove that character and then simply conveyed the whole like key of Metatron, which was dumb the movie doesn't really change. Like if she had learned about it, like, I don't know, from finding all of the, the papers or whatever, that would have been fine. I don't really feel like in any way, shape or form, his character, at least within the context of this movie, was necessary. I did not like the fact that her dad stayed in the town at the end. That made very, very little sense to me. Why she wouldn't have just stayed to help him find the mom. You went all of this way to find him and then you just were like, okay, yeah, you can stay here if you want. If you want, you can go on sabbatical here if you want. Like that didn't really make any sense to me. She learns that the adoptive mother had saved her and got her out. Somehow that was never explained as to how she was suddenly free of this whole thing. When at the end of the first one, we saw that that was completely different. They retconned things from the first movie. Like, I guess it was no longer Alessa split into separate entities. Like one was the good part and one was the bad part and the good part got to leave. Yeah, there was a lot of retconning that happened in this movie. And it's funny because I, I looked up as soon as like, you know, the, the 
credits started to see if there was a post credit scene. And it said, the movie is based on the third Silent Hill game. The movie tries to follow the plot of the game, but deviates frequently in many ways that make little sense. So I feel like there is a high likelihood that a lot of the things in this movie that did not make any sense to me, me never having played all of these games, it's probably still attributed to the fact that they made random changes because there's just shit that doesn't make sense. Also like th this entire thing that was supposed to be the sister of what's her face from the first movie, this big showdown that they have. She was defeated immediately. Also, that didn't make any sense. She touched her and then she said, I want to see what you really are. And she turned into this monster that had already been attacking them. So what, wh what, what, what? You know, now that I'm sitting here talking and thinking about the issues that I did have with the movie, like, did I actually like this movie? It was entertaining, at least. I will say that there was never a point in which I was bored during the movie. I thought that the movie did have pretty good special effects. The creature design was super cool. Some of the imagery was haunting. Is almost somewhat cheesy as it was. I did enjoy the like battle thing between Pyramid Head and, and the, the Cenobite at the end. But yeah, I will say the movie gets points for being entertaining, having a couple decent scares and having cool imagery. The plot, however, mm -mm. Mm, that didn't make any sense, didn't make any sense. I mean, at least I was still entertained, so I'll, I'll give it that. <laughs> yeah, so let me know what you guys thought about, I actually, I don't even know why I'm asking you to tell me because you guys already told me the first one that y'all hated it. Actually, I still wanna know. I still wanna know because I'm a glutton for punishment. Tell me why you guys didn't like this movie. For the uh, few of you who did like this movie, tell me why you like this movie. I wanna hear all of it. And I will see you next week.